I all great to be back. Okay, so now we enter into a very interesting subject which you all will relate uh, very quickly. And uh, so I think, uh, uh, you know, this is a topic which everybody can relate to very easily in today's world. And it's about social media. It's about social media uh, marketing, so to say. Uh, social media in today's day and age with all you millennials or with all, or, uh, all with you, uh, you young people or maybe even even uh, you know compared to older people uh, social media is something that you can relate very quickly uh, i'm sure uh, almost all of you have at least one social media account uh, be it uh, facebook uh, instagram or whatever right uh, so that's an interesting topic so on a bright sunny uh, day today uh, let's uh, you know start this uh, uh, interesting topic which I'm sure you all will relate very very quickly. So it's about social media marketing. Okay uh, Okay, so without further delay let, let me uh, jump into my PPT. Yeah Social media marketing Okay, okay. Yeah so what is social media uh, what is social media first of all social media are interactive platforms on which users engage through electronic services right users create highly interactive platforms through which individuals communities and organizations can share co-create discuss participate and uh, modify user generated content or self curated content posted online right uh, social media is one form of uh, platform wherein you know you can share uh, I mean you, you can share with your friends you can share with your colleagues you can f share with your peer so it's very much shareable the content that uh, you create or the content that is uh, you know generally created for the users and uh, it's something that uh, that is very strong because uh, you know uh, it's something that's very live right live uh, uh, in nature, you, you post something on Facebook, for example, or you post something on Twitter and it immediately reaches your audience, right? And that same thing can be shareable, like like, uh, you, you, uh, like in Twitter, for, for example, you can retweet it, re retweet uh, somebody else's message and it just gets viral. Uh, somebody else's tweet, so to say, and it gets viral. Likewise, you can uh, share your own post with the... Uh, uh, with, with, uh, with other people, you know, with other audience, then that same audience keeps on sharing it. So it's very much shareable and it, and it becomes big in nature that way, right? Uh, so how we use social media sh should be, uh, should be something that we should really be very, uh, uh, you know, careful of in terms of its usage, the way we use it, the, uh, and uh, uh, so when you're using it for, you know, for our own organization, so to say, we should be very careful. We should be uh, responsible, so to say. We should be using it in such a manner that, you know, it is, uh, so to say, in a way, uh, helpful to the organization and uh, to us also in the long run, right? Okay, now there are two social media uh, uh, contexts here. One is paid social media and one is organic social media. Now, what is paid social media? Paid, uh, now, we, now uh, often you know it is asked that which is uh, which is the better form of uh, you know social media, whether it's paid social media or organic social media. Well, uh, it should be hybrid, so to say. Uh, both should be used. But uh, let's face the you know face uh, the truth that in today's day and age, uh, you know, organic social media has really come down because you know, after all, company like Facebook and Google. I mean, Facebook, sorry, uh, Facebook and uh, other social media platforms also, you know, have been, you know, uh, using their algorithm in such a manner that organic social media does not reach the audience as much as, as it used to. So invariably, you'll have to, you know, pay something, you know, uh, you know, go to the paid, uh, paid mode in order to, you know, what is it, get more out of your social media marketing. Uh, so uh, that's the bitter truth, you know, as organic social media is not working as much as it used to. So organic social media is something which is uh, which, which is free in nature, right? The way you uh, post your content and then and anything that is good in terms of content, it gets you know it, it uh, gets your audience more and more. But uh, so for example, so Facebook algorithm is now made in such a manner that you get less out of your organic social media, and that's why you know ultimately invariably you have to uh, you know go for paid social media, which you can't do without. But 
Having said so, uh, uh, it, it is a hybrid model that always works better because uh, what happens in, uh, in paid social media, you of course, you know, you, you pay for, um, uh, you pay to get more of, you, uh, of your audience. For example, if you're doing some shopping ads, you know, you, you, you choose your target audience, right? You choose your location and you, so that way you know what, what your audience is, what your target audience is, and then you reach uh, uh, to your uh, targeted audience. So paid social media is definitely good in, in that manner but at the same time organic social media is uh, is also very very important why because uh, it's user user generated content right because ultimately uh, content has to be something that is uh, a strong uh, and original and it should uh, look like you know it's generic in nature because if you're just doing paid social media for your own business it looks like okay you are only into it but organic social media is something you know which is uh, neutral in nature right i mean you're you're posting something organically you're posting uh, on your on your own so, uh, social media handle uh, business handle so to say uh, of your company handle uh, organization handle on on your social media wherein it's user user generated content which of course is also at the same time very important right uh, and there you have your own control in terms of what content you're using what, what you know and also you can do other stuff like uh, you know you, you are uh, what do you say uh, things like customer relationship, you know, uh, uh, that is also a part of your organic social media. Then uh, you you keep your brand reputation in, intact with organic organic social media, right? Uh, the way you uh, way you control control uh, the negative uh, sentiments of certain people, so to say, in polls and all that. So that's a part of social media, uh, organic social media. So that is also very important. You, you can't do without uh, organic social media, you know. And then uh, it's also a free, uh, I mean, it's also a free form of uh, social media, organic social media. So, of, of course, it, that is also, uh, you know, helpful. So, ultimately, the point uh, I'm trying to make is that uh, it has to be a hybrid model. You can't only do only paid social media because ultimately organic social media also is very important because, like I said, uh, content is a king, right? I mean, I, you can't just be doing paid social media and without taking care of your organic social media because, Ultimately, user generated content, user user generated content is so very important, right? Yeah. Uh, so that way, there is a balance. Uh, but like I said, uh, only doing organic social media will not serve your goal anymore, like it used to, because um, you know it, it's all about the algorithm that Facebook, for example, uh, controls, right? I mean, that, that's beyond your, beyond your control. So Facebook's algorithm now puts it in such a manner that if you're doing organic social media, you'll only reach certain set of audience uh, at, at you know there was a time when it uses to uh, it, it uses i mean it used to reach more uh, feeds of your social of your of, of your audience but now it reaches less feeds of your uh, of your audience so you have to you go for paid social media you can't do without that right uh, so there is a balance between both and uh, yeah that's how it is right Okay, a little bit about the social media, what's going on in terms of uh, uh, the social media statistics. Just imagine 4.48 billion people currently uh, in the whole world, so to say, uh, use social media worldwide, up more than double from 2.07 billion in 2015. It's just the use of social media is humongous. I mean, uh, that's why social media marketing is has to be a part of your marketing plan you can't do without it 4.5 I mean 4.8 billion people out of a total population of nearly 7.7 .7 billion people so that is more than 50 percent of the world's population they're using social media just imagine right so uh it is only growing it is up by more than double from 2007 you know uh, uh i mean uh, double uh, uh from 2015's uh, audience, so it will keep on growing. So yes, this is something. It is a very strong medium that we can't do without, right? The average social media user engages with an av uh, average of 6.6 .6 various social media platforms. So an average person he uses 6.6 .6 various uh, social media platforms. I, for example, I myself know that I use Instagram, Facebook, then Twitter. Uh, uh, then uh, so three is always there, already there. Then at times I also uh, use a few few uh, other social media platforms, not very regularly, 
So I think I, on my own, use about six or seven. Out of which three, I definitely use, uh, you know, on a daily basis. So I'm sure the same goes with you also. I'm sure you all, you have a, a Facebook and Instagram, Instagram uh, you know, account. So that's the way it is. That's how strong social media is, right? In terms of region, social media growth in 2019-2020 is led by Asia, 16.98%, Africa, 13.92%, South America, 8%, North America, 6.96%, Europe, 4.32%, Australia, Asia, 4.9%. So this is the growth that we're looking at, right? Asia is getting bigger and bigger. Now, out of 4.48 billion social media users, 99% access websites or apps through a mobile device with only 1.32 accessing platforms exclusively via desktop. So that's why mobile, again, mobile marketing is that's why it's so very important because everything that you do is through mobile nowadays. That's why even your website should should be, you know, that's why we say that, you know, even a uh, website should be mobile friendly, right? So likewise, even for your social media, people use mobile, you know, to uh, to see their uh, social media uh, content. Obviously, so because you know you're on the move, you'll only use the mobile, right? You can't use the desktop. So 99% website or apps through a mobile device. So that's again, that's again huge. So that's something also we need to be uh, aware of, right? Globally, the average time a person spends on social media a day is 2 hours, 24 minutes. Can you imagine that? If someone signed up at 16 and lived up to 70, they would have spent how many? 5.7 years of their life on it. So on an average, some 5.7 years, the one would be spending on social media in his entire life. 5.7 years. Yeah. <laughs> that's So basically, you know, uh, you have to... Uh, Use your, I mean, you you use your social media marketing uh, or social media, uh, you know, uh, strategy in such a manner that you take most advantage of this average 5.7 years of a person's life, right? For your own good, for your own organization's good, right? Out of which Facebook is the leading social social network at 2.9 billion monthly active users monthly okay Month, monthly active users followed by youtube 2.3 billion whatsapp 2 billion facebook messenger 1.3 billion we each had 1.2 1.2 billion so this is the source given by backlinko so like you see uh social media strategy is very very important in your marketing plan you can't do without social media because everybody is on social media and uh, especially in a country like India, which is so young, uh, about uh, you know 65% of the population uh, is under 35 years years of age. So demographically, India, for example, is a very young country. So obviously, you'll have more social media usage in India. So that's also something that we need to take care of. Be you know be be aware of uh, that we have to use our social media, uh, uh, social media marketing or social media strategy in a very very important manner. You can't do without social media, you know. Okay, so what is the strategy now? Social media strategy. First, we need to set goals, right? In life, we have to set goals. So, likewise, in social media strategy, we have to set goals. We need to know what my brand stands for. We need to know what products, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, am, what is my product and where it's going to reach the most, right? So, for example, if my if I see that my product is very uh, very uh, uh, is uh, something that is very young, right? Which is very flashy, which is, um, you know, which is something that is that I relate to my young audience through a lot of videos and stuff like that. And I should definitely use Instagram more. Uh, so basically, I need to set my goals. I need to set my goals in terms of um, what my brand really stands for, where my target audience is. You know, that's the first thing that I need to know. I need to have a set plan in place, right? Audience targeting. Now, audience targeting, again, uh, of course, it's very important. I need to know where my audience is. I need to know which platform my audience uses more, right? Uh, so, likewise, uh, so when I'm talking about audience targeting, we only already saw, you know, how we create a uh, audience persona, basically. So here also, I, when I'm doing audience targeting, I need to have uh, in my mind as to what my audience really stands for, where my audience is, right? Which network my audience will be more. Uh, 
So that way I need to do my audience targeting and then accordingly set the plan, right? Third is competitor analysis. Now when I'm talking about competitor analysis, I also need to, it's always good to follow, I mean, not follow your competition. I, I mean, of course, follow your competition, but uh, not copying them. I, I mean, uh, we also need to get the best out of our competitors, right? Because uh, here I'm not talking about just copy pasting, but we need to know, uh, see what my competitor really, you know, uh, the best of my competitors are doing well. How is it they're doing well? You know, um, in terms of the social media strategy. So, competitor analysis is also very important. We need to, you know, um, uh, follow as what they're doing, what other things that they're doing that I'm not doing that that's really pulling the crowd more towards them. So, competitor analysis is also very important. Follow the best. When I'm saying follow the best, it doesn't in, uh, necessarily mean it has to be a competitor, uh, you know, that I'm following. So, there are, for example, I on my own follow Nike page on Instagram. It's, it's, it's so lively, it's so good. You know, they've got so much user-generated content that's, that looks so generic, generic in nature, that looks so educative, you know. Uh, so Nike is one page that I follow. Uh, likewise, there are other pages like Swiggy that I also follow. You know, so there are certain uh, pages or accounts that you need to follow on Instagram or Facebook just to see as to what best practices that they're following that we can also, you know, inculcate those, uh, you know, that that kind of culture in, in in our own organization so yes you we also need to do that now we also need to have a content calendar when i'm saying content calendar we need to know as to when to uh, post what to post you know during what time so we definitely need to have a content can calendar for the entire year now i'm not saying that this content calendar cannot change because the world is dynamic there are chances that the content uh, calendar might change here and there but at least in my head, I should have a content calendar wherein I know what to target, when to target. So, for example, if I am a lifestyle company, you know, so I definitely need to have some user-generated content during Diwali or the the the, the right? I need to have those kind of content in place uh, in, in in my plan of action. So, likewise, you know, my content calendar throughout the year should be there, you know, when I really have some set idea as to this is how my content is going to look throughout the year, right? Engaging your audience is so important <laughs> because ultimately uh, audience is going to come back to you only if they find the content inter interesting. So uh, when I'm saying engaging audience, there should be things like, you know, uh, polls, something like your um, quizzes for your audience, just to engage them. It, it should be more, you know, uh, engaging in, in terms of user generated content wherein they really liking your content and they come back to you. And then, and then you know, uh, so that's something that you, we all need to do. We need to engage our audience to the maximum effect, right? Generic education content. Now, when I'm saying about, when I'm talking about generic means, it should be educative. You know, it shouldn't be like, you know, I'm just trying to push my own, uh, my product and service every time on the Instagram handle because people think that, okay, this, and this handle is uh, too biased towards your own product. I just if I just keep on talking about my own product, okay, this is this, this is that, this is the best, this is the best product, you know, then uh, people will at times get, so to say, finding monotonous or maybe boring also at the same time. So, for example, when I've got uh, uh, something like a lifestyle company, okay, uh, I'm in uh, company account. So it should be like I'm only talking about my own sari, own t-shirt, right? So I should be uh, using content that is educative at the same time. For example, what fabric is used in what, which part of the country, you know? Uh, how this fabric is uh, that we get. For example, if I've got silk sari, uh, silk sari, I shouldn't be only talking about one, one product. I should be talking about how this, this silk is, you know, how different types of silk are used in different uh, parts of the country. For example, you've got... Uh, Kanchipuram in, uh, in Tamil Nadu, you've got Mysore silk in Karnataka, you've got uh, something like Muga silk in Assam, you've got so many different silk, uh, you know, uh, uh, in the entire part, uh, part, of the world, uh, part of India. And each silk sari is so beautiful in its own nature. So we need to uh, post content on that rather than talk, only talking about my own silk saris that I have in my shop or in my own, you know, online kitty, so to say. So it should be educative, it should be interesting, it should be generic, it should be neutral, you know, it shouldn't be only talking about your own product and service. Of course, you have to do that, but, you know, we have to have, see the balance also where you are not only talking about my own thing, but I am this, I am that, you know, that should be the case, right? 
So that's about it, uh, my friends. Um, social media goes without saying, it's an indispensable uh, medium uh, of marketing that you cannot do without. You have to be, uh, you know, on your toes every every day because it's dynamic. Like I said, uh, you have to, you know, create a strategy around that. And uh, yeah, the good thing is that we all have uh, some social media, you know, platform that we're already using, and you just need to enhance it through your social media marketing, you know. And I'm sure you all will do a good job. Thank you so much again, and yes, see you soon again.